Hello and welcome to Dominant Design. I'm Dej and in a previous video we created a spinning GIF preloader. You can find the link in the description. But today we're gonna create the two additional GIF preloaders that I showed you at the end of the video. So in the previous video we started by creating this 150 by 150 pixel circle. Let's duplicate it, select the first one and convert both layers to smart objects. Double click on the thumbnail of the first layer and with the dark selection tool select the right anchor point and delete it. Save and close the smart object. Double click on the second thumbnail and delete the left anchor point. Save and close. Select the bottom layer, create a selection from the right 75 pixels to the left and click add layer mask. Select the top layer and create a selection from left to right of 75 pixels and hit add layer mask. Now unlink the layer masks by clicking on this icon here for both layers. Now we're ready to animate. Go to window, timeline and create a video timeline. Click on these arrows next to preloader and preloader copy. Enable the transform keyframe animation for both layers and go to frame number 15. Select the bottom layer and rotate it 180 degrees clockwise. The top layer shouldn't move at this time, so let's create a keyframe. Move the playhead to one second and let's rotate the bottom and the top layer 180 degrees clockwise. Finally, let's go to one second and 15 frames and rotate only the top layer 180 degrees clockwise. The bottom layer shouldn't rotate, so let's create a keyframe. To make it loop, go back one frame, click on this menu, go to work area and set end at playhead. Make sure loop playback is selected here and hit the spacebar. Awesome! In the previous video, we learned how to export as a GIF, so you can do that and open it in your browser to see the animation. The fade out effect is extremely simple. After converting the layer to a smart object, double click on the thumbnail, add a mask, and use a black brush to fade it out. You can check the link in the description for a video about the layer masks. Save and close the smart object, and in the timeline, we just create a keyframe on frame 0, go to frame number 15, rotate 180 degrees clockwise, and then go to 1 second, and rotate 180 degrees again. Go back one frame, click this menu, go to work area, and set end at playhead. Hit the spacebar, and that's it. Don't forget that you can be creative and design your own 